In today's video, we're gonna talk about a lot of good free tutorials that you will find definitely useful. This includes modeling tutorials, animation, effects, and much more. Did you know that you can search for models on Sketchfab inside Blender? This is cool, right? Genian is gonna walk you through the process of getting a car model for free, rigging it, and animating it in Blender. You will start first by installing the Sketchfab add-on to be able to download the car model. Next, you will see how you can set up a car model to work with a car rig. After that, you will install the rig car add-on to add the rig to your car. Once you finish applying the rig, you will see how you can animate the car easily and fast. Also Camera Build on YouTube released a video tutorial series on how to create a procedural building generator with geometry nodes in Blender 3.2. The tutorial is divided into four parts. With each part, you will learn thoroughly how to create different nodes, their function, and the logic behind them. This way you can incorporate them into your own projects. And this is a great tutorial if you want to start with geometry nodes. But I want to let you know that there are a lot of technical stuff in addition to mathematical terms being thrown around. So if you want something a bit more chill, check out this next tutorial. The Terminator T-1000 is one of the most iconic and terrifying villains in science fiction. This thing can mimic an inanimate or an inanimate object. It can shapeshift and it can even move through walls. JJFX on YouTube released a 20 minute tutorial on how you can create a shot from the movie where the Terminator goes through the prism bars. You will see first how you can replicate the effect using sculpting, in addition to shape keys and dynamic paint modifier. Next, you will see how to model the face and wrap everything with some composition inside Blender. This video from Brad Colbo is for people who want to jump into Blender for the first time or for those transitioning from another graphic design software. Brad is a professional graphic designer and illustrator. He has been making content on his YouTube channel for the last 8 years. He talks about 2D art, software and technology related to that, such as drawing tablets, drawing apps, and new software releases. In this video, he's gonna talk about some of the things he wishes he knew before starting to learn Blender. And from his experience of the first month using Blender, he will give us his perspective and some recommendations and suggestions on how you can speed up the process, in addition to straightening the learning curve by walking you through some of the tutorials and resources he used to learn Blender. And on the same topic of jumping into Blender for the first time, this one is a bit dated, but we think it is a brilliant guide for people who want to jump into it. CG Fast Track on YouTube released a full course last year on how to create this cinematic sword animation in Blender. The things discussed in this training are very simple, which is good for beginners. First, you will learn the interface with its controls by building a simple scene. Next, you will learn about the polygon modeling and how to model sword. After that, you will learn how you can apply textures and shaders. Once all that is done, you will set up the cinematic composition, add some basic camera animations, and get ready to render the final scene. But before you do that, you have to download some motion captured animation from Mixamo to incorporate into your final shot. By the end of this tutorial series, you should have a good idea about Blender and how to model in addition to applying materials, lighting, and how to export your animation. Also, Polygon Runaway YouTube channel released a video on how to create a low-poly spaceship which makes a looping animation and you will learn how to do that in under 20 minutes. You will start first by modeling the vessel and in the background, but really the main focus of this tutorial is the animation. You will see how you can match the first and the last frame to make the animation loop forever, and you will finish by adding some details and materials to your scene. If you are a beginner, I'm sure you will find this useful. Polyfjord on YouTube has released the second part of his highly popular robotic arm tutorial. If you missed it, we talked about that one in our last week's free tutorials video if you want to check it out. In this second part, you will pick off exactly where you finished last time, only this time it will be about how you can add life into your inanimate robotic arms. By adding and tweaking the procedural noise animation, you can make a really believable idle animation for both the arm itself and the claws. This would create the illusion that each arm has a mind of its own. You will also this time see how you can replace the motion capture model, set up the camera and lighting, 
and render the final animation. Also, sketching in Blender YouTube channel released another time-lapse video. This can be very helpful if you are an intermediate artist or an advanced artist looking for inspiration. In this one, you want on to create the iconic Care Morin from the Witcher games. In addition to the castle, which is a stronghold situated deep between the mountains. This one, although is not a narrated tutorial, nor is it a step-by-step -step guide, it is very informative and enjoyable to watch, just to see the process and how you can create these stunning renders. I, for once, was really surprised at how much fakery is going on, and how little details are put into things, especially those that are far away from the camera. If you want some inspiration, this one is a great watch. Also, if you want more, the channel has a lot of videos like this. After the road destruction tutorial, Granite Film is back at it again with this new video. In this Blender tutorial, you're gonna learn how to create this wall destruction effect without using any external add-ons or tools. You will learn how to create multiple layers for the wall, such as bricks, plaster and plywood, and how to exactly shatter each one of them. You will start first by adding each layer to your wall and breaking it one by one. The first layer is bricks, then plaster, then plywood, and finally the wood splinters. Next, you will simulate smoke and add it to your scene. Then you can put everything together to be rendered and see the final result. If you enjoyed the last tutorial, you're gonna enjoy this one as well. And it strikes a really good balance between speed and being comprehensive and useful. But it might be a bit overwhelming for beginners, so please proceed with caution. Blender Complete Character Tutorial is a long-running series on Tomcat YouTube channel. In this series, you're gonna learn how to model, texture, and animate a character from start to finish. It is a cumulative 18 plus hour series. You will learn a real-time each concept of shading, rigging, and animation technique. If you wanna learn more about character animation process, and if you want to do this from scratch, this series might be helpful for you. And although this course is also using an older version of Blender, it is extremely helpful. That's why it deserves a spot on this video. The first few videos will be all about modeling, like modeling the head, body, hands and feet. Next you will add the hair, eyelashes and eyebrows. Once that is done, you will UV unwrap the model and learn a bit more about texturing and texture painting. Talking about animation, have you ever wondered how to animate smoke in Blender? In this quick fun tutorial, Kev Binge on YouTube shares his method on how to summon the Dark Lord, creating the Dark Mark in Blender by animating clouds. He will first grab a skull model from the internet and turn it into an ominous moving smoke cloud. And he will go through some of the settings and techniques you can use to achieve this effect. You will also learn how to create and animate the clouds in Eevee as well. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.